Well, you know, I've been with Designs for Health for 15 years now as the Chief Medical Officer, and one of the things that I was able to do recently is really build out a comprehensive scientific board of advisors. And I invited Dr. Oscar Kotsia to be on our board of advisors because of his experience in dealing with professional athletes and being a, a really top flight clinical nutritionist. And uh, my acquaintance with Dr. Kotsia goes back to the days when he was training in graduate school. Uh, he went to school at the University of Bridgeport and attended our uh, Nutrition Institute's master's program there, which I'm the director of. So I got to know him first when he was a student. Uh, years later, he ended up on our teaching faculty because he's one of our, he was one of our brightest stars and uh, was such a successful clinician uh, and did such great work with, uh, once again, professional golfers and other types of athletes. And after that, we became good friends and uh, been traveling around lecturing together a lot throughout the world. And I'm really excited to have him on the scientific advisory board for the company. He's been a long-term user of our products with patients, so uh, he brings a real clinical understanding uh, of, of implementing those products that he can share with others. In the transition period where I went from the psychological field to the nutritional field, I, I started going to a lot of seminars and I actually went to a couple of uh, seminars uh, from the National Association of Nutritional Professionals and actually Designs for Health. And that's why I ended up meeting, you know, Dr. Brady. Um, at that point, I didn't know who I was. I just listened to him speak. I decided to sign up for the master's program after, you know, visiting one of the lecturers and uh, you know studied and just kind of started to connect with Dr. Brady on some research that I found and then obviously did my research on metabolic syndrome and one thing led to another and I approached Dr. Brady and he approached me and said well we, do you have an interest in teaching because they had a a business course at the university that they wanted to develop with a successful clinician that has had you know clinical practice with some reasonable income um, and that's how the whole thing evolved and now it's to the point where Dr. Brady has given me the opportunity to run the doctoral program, the nutrition tract. I still teach in, in his department, um, so we have a whole new uh, department in uh, the Doctor of Health Sciences program where we specialize in very specific uh, advancements in the field of nutrition as far as research is concerned. So the whole supplemental and um, you know, case studies and case series trials is really what we're interested in, in, in uh, you know growing within that particular department. When we go about designing products uh, within the company, we have a, a pretty broad uh, development team at this point. I've built a team over the last 15 years uh, of people that have a lot of different uh, specific areas of specialty and uh, that we lean on pretty heavily. So by no means is it, is it me alone or, or Oscar or anyone else. It's really a broad-based team. Back, back when we were building out the product line initially, it was mostly me. Um, and it really uh, borrowed upon my, my different experiences. Number one is a clinician seeing patients. I, I had a feel for what was needed, what was missing in the marketplace, what kind of products I needed to address specific conditions and situations that were not available for many of our competitors at the time. Um, and I also had the background of an academic. So I was able to access uh, I was able to critique and I was able to really go find the appropriate literature and evidence base to build the product. So they weren't just built on a hunch or because I was used to using something or I had a certain bias towards something. They were really deep dives into the scientific literature and what the evidence base said for a specific condition and we built those products based on that type of criteria. So it was a combination of you know, academics and research, but also real world clinical practice, and my experience as a formulator before I got to Designs for Health that developed that first big group of products that really put us on the map. Since that time, we've matured and brought in so many other people with so many different expertise. There are some uh, types of products in certain categories that we're going to develop that I just hand it over to the person that knows more about that than I do. In the American market, uh, we have over 350 products at this point, and we hit every major category uh, of what you would expect to see in a full nutraceutical nutritional supplement line meant for the professional market space. So, we are, uh, you know, we're a, a premium level brand with as diverse of a product line as you can possibly find, and it touches encapsulated products, soft gel products, bars, powders, chews, you know, every kind of delivery system possible, and. Um, so it's, it's really wide ranging and therefore there's 350 products. But we're not, you know, in the end, we're not a products company. 
we're a nutritional education and services company. So we started as an educational company and a nutritional services company. We started building products by necessity and, and by accident, kind of, because we needed better stuff. But we're really still committed mainly to, with people like Oscar and other people on our advisory board and speakers on keeping clinicians in the know, current, what's, what's evolving, and giving them the best products to, uh, to um, do the best job in practice. As a specialist in, in uh, uh, metabolic syndrome, type 2 diabetes, and weight loss resistance, uh, the products that I, that I really use uh, currently to help with these particular conditions, other than the lifestyle changes that go with them, would be the Berbervale, because uh, it's a great product for insulin control, hyperlipidemia, um, you know, reducing um, um, you know, insulin resistance in, in individuals. And then the Abiguavale is very important as well, because in metabolic syndrome, a tremendous amount of people are being put on statin medication and there are depletions in these drugs uh, of CoQ10 and this is a very, very uh, deliverable uh, 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 form of CoQ10 uh, that gets to the cell and does the job to enhance uh, the improvement of myopathies and muscle issues that come from the use of those particular drugs. When we looked at launching in Australia, we wanted to really do it in an informed way. So we built a, a team of folks who are very familiar with the market here. Uh, and we wanted to look and cull and curate through our more than 350 products in North America and, and lead, lead with our best foot forward. So we, uh, we curated it down to 22 products to initially bring out. Uh, more will be coming. Uh, but we tried to bring things into the market space that had some novelty, uh, something where maybe the, the current products offered in Australia did not meet that exact niche. Uh, or products that had just such great importance that we felt that we had to have our brand's version represented here. We did pay particular attention, though, I must say, to our GI suite of products because of uh, launching the GI MAP test in parallel. So if we were going to launch the GI MAP diagnostic stool test, we needed to have the products that went along with what you usually have to use to fix things you found there.